he charged full speed at his office window while students cheered. But the window frame gave way and he fell all the way to his death. You see, he was trying to demonstrate the strength of the window, as he had done many times before, to impress the students. But this time, he went back for a second try and didn't know that the window had slipped out of its frame. If you're trapped in a sewer, most people would try to call for help, but sewers are typically too deep underground to be heard. Instead, look for a light source, which should lead you to a manhole. If you don't see any light, try to feel the direction the sewage is flowing and move upstream. This will bring you to smaller tunnels where the sewage is fresher and there are less toxic gases. You can then use your clothes to block a small household pipe that leads into the sewer. This will cause someone's drain to overflow and eventually someone will be called to fix the pipe. When he knocked down the wall in his basement, he found a hidden room. It led to a maze of tunnels stretching hundreds of feet underground. He had accidentally discovered an ancient city built thousands of years ago. At 18 stories deep, it was big enough to house up to 20,000 people. Inside, archaeologists found schools, stables, and wine cellars. It also had ventilation shafts, secret doors, and even escape routes. That's because it was used as a refuge from war and invasions. And after remaining unknown for thousands of years, it's now a well-known tourist attraction. If you woke up in a coffin during the cholera outbreak, you might actually have a chance to survive. You see, because there were so many instances of people being buried alive during this time, a tube was connected from the coffin to the surface, allowing airflow. Above ground, a bell was attached to a cord running into the coffin. If you woke up trapped, pulling the cord would ring the bell. This signal alerted cemetery workers that you were still alive. 